How's everyone doing today? CJ Halleck with CJHalleck.com and if you're following along with the tutorials we are in the middle of covering all of the different elements inside of the Elementor WordPress page builder plugin and right now we're moving forward with the tutorials into the text editor now this one is going to be kind of a basic overview um, simply because it's a lot of it you know if you know how to use a word processor uh, Microsoft Word or anything like that this is basically all you, you know it's the same basic fundamentals so or if you're familiar with WordPress it's basically the text editor uh, default uh, WordPress uh, text editor so once you get the, the um, element inside of your uh, section you go ahead and make this full screen um, you then just simply edit just as you would a uh, regular text box, right? You type your letter, you know, you, you type what you have to say, you know, like um, in 2003. Your journey with his first actual um, project all right so I just I'll leave it at that I don't want to spend time writing stuff I just trying to show you guys what we're doing so anyways um, you edit the text here you know it works the same you can highlight and go bold you can take it you know make it italic make it underlined you know whatever you want um, and this is your kitchen um, toolbar um, it used to be called the kitchen sink I still haven't gotten away from that um, and this gives you a couple extra options as far as uh, editing text color um, paste this text which is huge if you're copying text from another document or another website this allows you to paste just the text without the formatting just a bunch of different things um, but the most important thing is to understand the editing features that you're uh, given with the Elementor page builder so basically and I don't know why it's not letting there we go alright you can do drop cap which basically just makes the first letter uh, almost twice as large as the rest of the sentence it's just a visual thing some people like it uh, personally I don't but that it's a design thing and you know design is art and art subjective so it's up to you if you want to use that or not but the big thing is the style section so this is where you get the uh, basic overall um, selection for the alignment for this entire uh, text box. Um, so you can you know center it, adjust it, you know, or align it one way or the other, or do justified whatever from there. Um, of course, your text color this allows you to change your colors. Once again, um, please remember that solid black is never a good idea. You want to go even if you just take it you know a shade above a little bit above black would work too. my default um, that I run to if I'm you know typing colors in or whatever is just solid three so it's just one two three four five six and if that happens sometimes it'll automatically throw numbers in just delete it until it's not red anymore and then you'll have your six uh, digits for the hex code um, but anyways next thing typography um, of course the first thing is the family for this the, the uh, for the font comes default um, you can come through the basic fonts um, the system fonts if you will and then you can do any of the Google fonts moving forward so you can go down I mean as you see there is a lot of different fonts that you can use um, one of the ones I use the most is uh, Roboto condensed there we go Roboto condensed um, and I use that because to me it's the closest thing to um, I use the dense font for uh, the CJ Halleck uh, logo and, and um, like the free web design tutorial and, and, and those sites are mostly all done uh, logos and stuff with the dense font so to me the Roboto condensed is the closest thing to that that I found uh, to date so that's normally what I ride with the next thing is your size so you can decide how you want to do it. I normally, unless it's something like a massive disclaimer that you have to have in the footer and you don't want it taking up half a page, normally I keep everything at 16 point font or higher or bigger. Um, depending on what you're doing, if you have a full 
paragraph, you obviously don't want to set it at like 40 or 50 point font because then it's just way too big. Um, next thing is the weight, which is the thickness of the font. So it, you know, if you go to 900, it'll be kind of like a bold, and then you can go really narrow with 100, and it makes it like really, really fine um, as far as the thickness and, and the letters and stuff. Um, and of course, 500 is about default. Um, transform, um, and all this works the same as the um, the heading element. Anything that has text involved in it. Um, and there's a lot of the different elements that has their own, you know, text sections where you would edit the font. It all is going to work this way. So moving forward with the other tutorials, I will reference back to the text editor uh, video so you guys can see how all this works. Um, but like transform, you can go completely uppercase, completely lowercase. You can capitalize the first letter of each word, or you can basically make it default or normal. Um, which is the default setting, the way uh, it's set with the install file from uh, Digit Toolbag. Um, and that basically is just however you type it is how it's going to show up. The next thing is style, which gives you that. Uh, basically, it's just the only thing I would use here is the italic. Um, decoration gives you underline, overline, and line through. Um, you can do some real playful stuff with the line through depending on um, like if you're writing a, a large article and you're using Elementor to do the article that's one of those things you can put a line through on some of it um, if it's something that's like a fat like a myth and you're talking about you know uh, like a industry myth you can put that up as you know put the whole myth even if it's a small paragraph with the line through and then go underneath it and put a fact or something like that. It's some you know, fun stuff you can do with it. Of course, the line height, um, that is basically the spacing in between the top of the uh, le uh, font, the top of the letters, to the next line above it, and then from the bottom to the one above it. So you're adding spacing when you add the line height under the font and above the, f or uh, under the text and above the text. If you need spacing, I would recommend not using this. I would recommend actually just going through. Well, we'll just delete that out and get rid of it. Um, and going into your advanced editor and adding uh, padding or, or, or add margins or something like that. Of course, the last one on the um, typography is your letter spacing, which is the closeness of the letters in the line. So you can make it space out. Or you can put it really close together if you're trying to fit a lot of stuff in. Just remember the closer it gets, you're not going to be able to do that because you won't tell what it is. You know, and it all depends on the font too because some fonts de by default come out with larger spacing than others. So you'll just want to make sure that you pay attention to that and make sure that it looks good um, across the board. And of course, you know, just a reminder again, you want to make sure anytime you do uh, work inside of Elementor that before you walk away from it that you use the responsive mode. Come in and look at it on a tablet look at it on the mobile and make sure it looks good on all three platforms so I'm gonna take it back to desktop click that to take that away and then we're gonna go into advanced once again it's basically um, the advanced for the most part is the same on almost every single element there's a few things that it may change but for the most part you have your part your 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 margin your margin your padding uh, scrolling effect if you want it to be static at the top uh, change your background for that element border for the element the responsiveness if you want to hide it you know on desktop or on mobile tablet whatever and then of course this custom CSS CSS which is of course you know custom code so once again um, I feel like I'm a broken record sometimes but if you don't know code stay away from the custom CSS stuff that being said that is the text editor for the uh, or text editor element for Elementor, the WordPress page builder plugin. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below. If you're interested in getting the um, Elementor Pro plugin, please visit the link below. Um, it is an affiliate link, so I will get, um, depending on your purchase, I may or may not get uh, receive compensation for that. Um, 
And other than that, if you like the video, please like the video. Be sure to subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to click the bell so you can get notifications when I upload new content. That being said, hope everybody has had an amazing day. I hope this has helped. And be great, stay boosted, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.